Hi, my name is Fatima Serrato, and this is our math analysis final. Our question is, if, Dean, if Dean's 1967 Chevy Impala from the TV show Supernatural depreciates by 10% annually, what is the value of the car by season 14, uh, considering taking into consideration all the car accidents it's been through? Hi, my name is Fatima Serrato, and this is our math analysis final. Our question is, how much would the average 1967 Chevy Impala be worth now that is considered a collectible due to its iconic representation in the TV show Supernatural? Hi, my name is Jasmine Corona, and as you've heard, we're investigating the value of a 1967 Impala uh, um, since it's now a collectible. The reason why we're investigating this is because it comes from a show called Supernatural that I really like. It's and the car itself is so iconic that I really want one myself. And um, it's just a really good car in general. It's like a good muscle car. It's a Chevy. It's um, it's like a dream car for me. I like the car because it's such an iconic piece of the show, like Jasmine had already said. And the show has a lot of sentimental value to me because it's one of the first shows that me and my older brothers could bond over. Uh, they first showed it to me in 2009, I want to say. And I remember seeing how much love Dean had for the car and being reminded of how much love my dad had for the car we had at the time. And According to our sources, in 1967, a Chevy Impala would be worth around $3,000 to $4,000. So we have used the amount $3,999 as the initial price. And when resold six years later, it would be worth around $2,204. Using these prices, we can attempt to find the rate of depreciation using the PERP formula. And with this formula, we must now isolate E, and we do so by dividing both sides by 2,204. This will cancel out the original of 2,204, and 3,999 divided by 2,204 will leave us with 0.551 equals E to the power of R times 6. Now we must eliminate E entirely, and we do so by multiplying it by its inverse natural log. And so natural log times E will, will cancel out entirely, leaving us with natural log times 0.501 equals R times 6. Now our final step will be to divide both sides by 6. R, the 6 in R times 6 will cancel out, isolating R, and natural log times 0.551 divided by 6 will give us our rate of depreciation, negative 0 0.09 equals R. And so now that we have our rate of depreciation, we can substitute it in for R in our original equation. So now we have our final equation, which is X equals 3,999E to the power of negative 0 0.09 times six, which would give us 2,330.41, which is the price we use to verify our depreciated price after six years. So now that we know that our rate of depreciation is correct, we can find out what the value of the car would be 32 years after being manufactured. 32 years after its, manu after its manufacture, the, it would be 2005. And so with these calculations, we can definitively say that in 2005, the car would be worth 2000. $224. Okay. You may think that by using this equation, the car would keep depreciating at a rate of negative 0 0.09. However, after 2005, this is not the case. 
instead of depreciating, the car appreciates. The reason for this is because the car has been heavily featured in the media and has henceforth become a collectible. Since the car is now a collectible, there is no current exact price that we can go off of. Therefore, we have found the prices of three cars currently on sale for $10,299, $75,000, and $66,500. This, these values average out to $50,599. Now that we have our equation, we must isolate the E to get our rate of appreciation. To isolate the E, we must divide 224 on both sides, which cancels out our 224 and leaves us with 50,599 divided by 224. This gives us 225 equals E to the power of R multiplied by 14. Now we must cancel out our E to get our R. You cancel out E by multiplying it by its inverse natural log on both sides. Since E cancels out, we are left with natural log 225 equals R multiplied by 14. Now, to find our rate of appreciation, we divide by 14 on both sides. This cancels out our 14 and leaves us with natural log 225 divided by 14, which equals 0 0.39, which is our rate of depreciation. We plug this into our equation of appreciation, which gives us a value of 52,661. This verifies our estimated current price of 50,599 because they are near in value. Using our equation of appreciation, we can calculate the value of a 1967 Chevy Impala throughout the years 2006 to 2019. In 2006, it was worth $330. Then, in 2007, it was worth $448. In 2008, it was worth $721. In 2009, it was worth $1,065. In 2010, it was worth $1,574. In 2011, it was worth $2,325. In 2012, it was worth $3,434. In 2013, it was worth $5,072. In 2014, it was worth $7,492. Seven in 2015, it was worth $11,066. In 2016, it was worth $16,344. In 2017, it was worth $24,140. In 2018, it was worth $35,655. And finally, in 2019, it would be it would be worth $52,661. In conclusion, this is how much a 1967 Chevy Impala would be worth in 2019 now that it is considered a collectible. Now that we have found the value of a 1967 Chevy Impala, this is the end of our presentation. Thank you for watching.